It's nearly the holiday season, and this time of year is definitely my favourite for figure releases. Here's a list of the top 10 figures released in November, and to start it off is one that I'm hoping is going to be in my Christmas stocking this year. Number 10. Rem, Taito, ReZero starting life in another world, Memory Snow. Have I mentioned that Taito is killing it recently? They just never cease to impress me. It's great to see a company get into the festive spirit around this time. They released a spooky jack o lantern themed Miku for Halloween, so it only makes sense that their new figure star Rem would get to don the Santa outfit for Christmas. She comes in two versions in red, with a wink or a blink, and also you can pick her up in a black Santa outfit, which apparently that's a thing in anime. Either way, she'd make a great Christmas ornament to any collection, and I'd love to set her up by the Christmas tree and watch some sweet Christmas anime. Number 9, Hatsune Miku, Max Factory, Project Diva 2nd. This is Miku in her vintage dress outfit which appears in the game Project Diva 2nd. I think she's most known for her wearing it when she sings the song Romeo and Cinderella, which is actually a pretty good song as far as Vocaloid music goes. I'm not really into that sort of thing, but I am into Hatsune Miku, which I know doesn't make a lot of sense considering I don't really like her music, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who likes her for more than that. Because hey, she's a multifaceted girl. Well artificial virtual girl. And as far as mascots go, I don't think many will disagree when I call her a queen, and a queen deserves a crown. If you've ever heard the saying pretty in pink, I think Miku is a princess in pink. Number 8. Sato Shin, Ami Ami, The Idol Master, Cinderella Girls. Ami Ami! It's great to see them back making figures, not just selling them. Most of you probably know Ami Ami as the new and used figure distributor based in Akihabara out of Japan, but they've actually dabbled in manufacturing and made some quite decent figures in the past. I even picked one up in my last unboxing video. I'm going to give you a quick history lesson of Ami Ami's figures in the last four years. In 2016, Ami Ami released one single figure. In 2017, they put out two, including... What the fuck is that? In 2018, they put out an Idolmaster figure, and pretty much ever since then, they've exclusively made Idolmaster figures, with Shin being their latest release. Fun fact, Shin's surname Sato in Japanese means sugar, and Shin is written in the kanji for heart, so her name is literally written as Sugar Heart. This is Sugar Heart's second figure, and most detailed, with her only other one being in a bikini with a water pistol. Number 7. Mint Blank March, Broccoli, Galaxy Angel. Now this is a blast from the past, there's some history behind this figure and I do intend to tell. The anime series of Galaxy Angel came out in 2001. It was part of a plethora of multi-platform releases all tying into the same universe. There was manga, there was video games, and there was anime. The company that created it, I shit you not, wanted to make a memorable name like the company Apple who had invented the iPod in that year. So what they did, they got a fruit and vegetable chart and started listing names of random fruits and vegetables and ended up settling on broccoli. I cannot make this shit up, that is actually how the company Broccoli got their name. The very same company who was releasing this figure almost 18 years later. I know there must exist some old school fans of Broccoli's flagship series, I personally am somewhat of a fan, and for the veterans this is definitely the definitive figure almost 20 years in the making. Number 6, Kizuna Ai, Stronger, AI Channel. If you don't know, Kizuna Ai is a virtual YouTuber, and she was definitely one of the first, but maybe not THE first, as she claims to be. She has a couple of YouTube channels, which we'll get to the other one a bit later, but on her main channel she basically sings, dances, vlogs, and just shows off her personality. Her virtual personality. I honestly find her quite entertaining to watch, especially when she shows her sassy side, and she's somewhat of an enigma, especially in Japan. So as you can imagine, figures of her have started being created with 26 and counting so far. Stronger used Ikrea to create this figure, I hope I'm saying that right, but they're a company that allows outsourcing of figure prototypes as well as movies and digital artwork, and they can also handle the entire production management of the finished products. And looking at some of the figures they've actually made for people, the sculptors there have an impressive array of skills and attention to detail. And this figure was actually one of three that Stronger commissioned for release in 2019, so let's talk about one of the other ones now. 
Number five, Kizuna Ai Stronger AI Games. The outfit of this figure comes from her gaming channel, which is literally compromised of Let's Plays. It's a pretty weird concept considering she's not actually a tangible person and physically has no body, but it pretty much plays out just like any other channel. Kizuna Ai makes commentary over the top while playing the games, but they do a decent job syncing everything up. I've actually watched her play the Taiko no Tatsujin rhythm games in Japan, and they actually animated her doing the drum movements, which it was believable enough. You can see on the back of her jacket there's the YouTube play button and she also has a pair of headphones ready to go. And I probably prefer this figure to the last one. I really like how they did the face with a little bit of blush. And I believe these pouches are to hold phones or games. I have no idea but she has a cool Pokemon trainer kind of design. Number 4. Matsuda Cannon with fans Love Live Sunshine. The company that made this figure is a collaboration between Bandai Namco's art division and Good Smile Company with the latter's artisans handling production. And the project's name is pretty damn cool, with fans, but more accurately would be with Love Live fans because almost all of the figures to come out of this project have been from Love Live. But the important thing about this project is not only does this figure come with the quality assurance the Good Smile Company almost guarantees, it's also backed by Bandai's vast wealth in the industry who seem to have connections in places that even Good Smile Company can't reach. The reason that's important is the vast majority of Love Live figures released up until now have been prize figures, but Love Live has some of the most hardcore dedicated fans that I've personally ever seen. Collectors desperately wanted high quality scale figures and that's what this team up aims to produce. Number 3. Kuro Neko, Figure X, Oriimo. Figure X is a company that I first talked about in my top 15 most expensive anime figures list. They popped up in 2016 and since then have been exclusively manufacturing life-size anime girls. And that's pretty rare. Alongside maybe Aniplex and one or two other companies, no one makes life-size anime waifu. I repeat, no one makes life-size anime waifu. Is it just me or is that deeply sad? That's pretty much the sole reason this figure earns its spot. It's actually not the best figure of Kuro Neko, like I'd prefer a different face on it, but I must reiterate, no one makes life-size anime waifu. <laughs> Look, in person, I just know this would be a spectacle to look at. For one thing, besides the prototype, there was only 10 made in the world, and this figure cost close to $20,000 in my country. Now, it seems they chose November to ship out all of their figures this year because this is actually one of five life sizes that got released this month, and upon researching the others, I'd have to say buyer beware because apparently the company does a terrible job with shipping considering the size and fragile nature of the parts. Number 2. Lucy Hartphilia Orca Toys Fairy Tale. This figure comes in three variations, which Orca Toys seems to love to do. Terrible name, by the way. Orca Toys. Like whale toys. Like fat fish toys. <laughs> In my preferred version, Lucy has her hair up in a pink bikini. The other two come with pigtails with mouth open or mouth closed, and obviously there's other color differences between all three. In my mind, Lucy has been kind of like the promo girl for thick chicks. <laughs> She's been rocking some curves since 2006, way before Sonico, way before Hestia. She's one of the OGs, boy, show some respect. And personally, I always liked Fairy Tale. I think the universe is awesome despite what people say. And if you want to talk about quality figures, fuck, there is some incredible figures of Lucy and this is definitely one of them. Quality over quantity. Now, if only we can get a figure of her belly dancing from Dragon Cry. My life would be complete. <laughs> and finally, number one, Krillin with Cyberman, Sume, Dragon Ball Z. Woo. Besides how it looks, you want to know how I knew this figure was going to be amazing? It had five sculptors work on the design, four color producers creating the paint job, and a director overseeing the entire project. The level of care and detail put into this figure really makes it something truly special. Recently, I've been very much enjoying figure dioramas like this, where a scene is playing out rather than just a single character in a pose. It's figures like this that gets me the most hyped because it really brings the Dragon Ball anime and manga to life. And it's about time Krillin got some love. Do you know how many Goku and Vegeta statues there are? 
thousands. But the thing about the Dragon Ball universe is, everywhere you look there's incredible side characters and Krillin's pretty much been there from the start, so it's cool to see him kicking some ass here. Really, he's a bit of a butcher making some Cybermen stir fry. Um, goddamn. And also, just like Sume's Broly, the key blasts have an LED light that can be turned on and off, giving off a really cool glowing effect. And that was it for the top 10 figures released in November. Now there will be a part two coming of this um, series. I'm late, I'm so behind, but I'm working on that as we speak. And of course, there will also be a December video coming out that I will work my ass off to get done by the end of the year. Um, apart from that, thank you guys for watching this video, leave a like if you enjoyed, look forward to more, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching guys.